Hello, friends, and welcome back to Olotita, or Wholeness. I'm Krista Shirley, and today I look forward to guiding you through a beautiful meditation on forgiveness. As we work to let go of the things that no longer serve us, we create space space in our minds and our hearts and our souls, space for greater love, for greater joy to come in. So as you work with your breath and you work with your body and you work with your mind, today let us center ourselves on truly forgiving. Forgiving us, forgiving self, and forgiving others. For it's truly when we can forgive that we become free and we evolve into greater states of happiness and abundance and wholeness. Take a deep breath with me. Begin to focus your mind on the quality of the breath you take in and out of your body. Slow, steady, deep breaths in and equally slow, steady, deep breaths out. It's always important at the beginning of each and every seated meditation to start with centering your breath because breath, so powerful, so necessary in our life, is also the magical thing that connects the mind to the body. We focus on creating breath to connect the mind with the body in order to go deeper into stillness. Yet the breath does the same thing whether we're moving or we're still. It's connecting us, connecting our internal selves with our external selves. So now as you're working more with your breath to slowly begin the process of disconnection from three-dimensional or physical space, to that of our more internal, more fifth dimensional space. Energetically, forgiving someone or something or self, it makes space, it makes room for a windfall of positive energy. Forgiveness is the greatest healer. Forgiveness frees your soul, frees your mind. So as you get more connected to your breath and less connected to your body, Begin to focus on your heart. Begin to focus on that space inside your body, that space inside your soul. To forgive is to truly live in love. to truly live in light. As you work with your breath, using that energy source, begin to move the energy from the breath into your heart and begin to ask yourself or someone else for forgiveness.
Remember, holding on to something from your past, it only hurts you. To forgive is not to forget. To forgive is to release toxic energy from your life. To forgive is never to excuse bad behavior. To forgive means giving away pain, giving away resentment, giving away toxicity from your life. The weight of negative energy is quite heavy on the soul, quite heavy on the heart. It is one of the greatest endeavors you can take in your journey in this life to grow and learn through the gift, the spiritual practice of forgiveness. Release that negativity. Free yourself from the pain. Free yourself from that experience or that person or that old habit that you once held. Choosing to forgive is choosing to no longer carry the weight of that old toxic energy in your life. To make a different choice. You are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of abundance. You, my dear, you're worthy of joy. So absolutely anything that stands in your way, it must be addressed. It must be forgiven to truly allow yourself to move on into higher states of happiness and abundance and wholeness, to move into a new space of love. Because that is one of the beautiful gifts we all receive when we experience things in our lives that are unpleasant or tragic or difficult. The only way out is through. And once you get to the other side, once you get to the other side of the river of change, you'll be oh so glad you took that trip. You'll never again look at that journey the same. But part of that process to make it to the other side, to get through, is to let go, to forgive. Staying focused on your breath, staying focused on this moment, feel whatever comes up, be with your emotions. Forgiveness can be very difficult, so be patient with yourself. Everything starts at the beginning. And so if this is the beginning of your work with forgiveness, day by day by day, 
you'll see that you make tremendous progress using tools that are here to help you. For the next 10 days, take a little time out of each day to begin a spiritual practice of forgiveness. It might include listening to this audio, but I would love to see you also begin to work with journaling, using the art of repetition, repeating words or thoughts or phrases, chanting them or journaling them or putting them on sticky notes and making sure you look at them every day or a combination. Utilizing visualization with affirmation and repetition helps to genuinely refocus, reprogram the subconscious mind into more positive, ever-evolving experiences in life. As you work towards growing deeper in your spiritual journey, begin to access more tools that are readily at your disposal. For the next 10 days, I'll be repeating this phrase, and I invite you to share in this with me. Repeat after me. I forgive myself and anyone who has ever hurt me. I forgive myself and anyone who has ever hurt me. I forgive myself and anyone who has ever hurt me. I forgive myself and anyone who has ever hurt me. I forgive myself and anyone who has ever hurt me. Whether you chant that over and over again, whether you write it out in your journal, I invite you to join me over the next 10 days in this daily affirmation, this daily chanting, or this daily journaling ritual in your spiritual practice of forgiveness. Take a moment with me now and give thanks for all the things in your life with which you're grateful. I hope to see you here again tomorrow doing a little more of this wonderful spiritual work. If you enjoyed today's video, please share in the comment section below what you enjoyed the most. And if you're not comfortable sharing, how about my favorite, a little froggy emoji, letting me know that you got to the end of the video and letting YouTube know that you enjoy content from creators like myself. Thank you so much for sharing a piece of your day with me. I look forward to seeing you again here tomorrow. Namaste.